Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yankovic, and today we are going to get a little bit janky and a little bit technical. Uh, it's going to be a different one, so let me show you what we're doing. That's right, we're jumping right into it. What you're seeing now is not me typing. You see, Paper Hat Season 3 is coming up real quick, and as such, we like to pre-generate our worlds like most Minecraft servers do. The reason for that is lag. Let me explain a little bit better. For anyone who's familiar with how Minecraft generates chunks, you can probably just skip ahead about 30 seconds or so. But if you're not familiar, let me explain. You see, Minecraft is a procedurally generated game, which means you start off with a world seed. It takes that seed into consideration, puts it in some sort of equation. I'm not really sure exactly how that works, but it calculates based off that seed what the world looks like and of course they've got some extra parameters such as temperature blending things like that to keep the world look more or less natural this may seem like a small gripe you know a little bit of lag loading a few chunks isn't much but think about it this way when you've got a minecraft server with 10 plus people on it we're going to have elytra very soon we're going to be flying at high speeds loading all kinds of chunks now here's the thing, loading chunks is a lot different from generating chunks. We're planning on having a world about 3,000 by 3,000 blocks, and if we are 10 people in 10 different areas loading 12 chunks around us all at the same time, that is a massive amount of server resources. So the way to combat that is to pre-generate chunks, what we're going to be doing today. See, it's a lot easier to load chunks than it is to generate chunks. So what we're going to do today is use these commands that you're seeing typed out here by this macro I wrote to teleport around the world, rotate in all four directions, and load the chunks around us. So as I've said before, I actually am the one who set up this particular macro. However, this isn't my concept. I actually got the idea from Exumavoid over on Hermitcraft. Uh, a while ago, I think it was when he was preparing Season 6, he made a video where he used AHK, which is more of a technical way to do one of these macros. I actually use Razer Synapse. Uh, it's a program that comes with most Razer products if you use those. So that's a really easy way to do this if you're interested in trying this. So I've talked enough about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Let me tell you exactly how this works. So basically, all you have to do is teleport to the upper left area of a 3000 by 3000 area, which would be negative 1500 by negative 1500. You want to teleport there and face your character at 180, which is straight north. So once you're there, you can start the macro. And what we're going to be doing is it's going to rotate you to east rotate you to south, and then rotate you to west, and then it's going to teleport you to the east 200 blocks. You're going to be facing north at that point, and then it's going to rotate you east, south, and west again, and it's going to teleport you 200 blocks east 15 times. At that point, you'll be at positive 1500, then you'll be teleported west 3000 blocks. You'll be at the beginning and then you'll be teleported south 200 blocks and you'll be ready to print another strip of the world. Do this another 15 times and your whole world will be pre-generated and ready to go. Now as you can imagine this can take some time because you don't want to set up a macro that will type too fast. You risk lagging or having something typed in incorrectly. So I've put in a half second to one second delay in between inputs just to be safe. I expect this to take around an hour to an hour and a half, uh, but that's enough talking. Let's get going and see how long this actually takes.
Okay, so here's the results. Turned out great. We got the whole world done. Uh, uh, three thousand by three thousand. Uh, I was a, uh, I was basically right. It took about an hour. Uh, which I'll tell you, the first time I did this, I did it manually, flying around the world, and that probably took about four hours. So hey, one hour, I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, turned out great. If you've stuck around until the end here, I do really appreciate you. Consider joining my Discord, the Dingus Den. If you're interested in this and you're not quite sure how to get started, uh, do join that Discord and feel free to ask me a question at any time. I'm, I'm always here to help uh, in any way that I can. I'll help you get started uh, if this is something that you're having trouble with or you just want more information. Guys, y'all have a good one. Do hit that like button if you haven't already and consider subscribing. If you want more videos like this, and always leave me a comment uh, with some uh, criticisms. Uh, how can I do better in the future? Guys, y'all have a good one, and I will see you next time.